All you have to do is drive through Houston's third ward to know it's changing quickly. The historically black community has been taken over by pricey townhomes and condominiums, and that means families who have lived there for years are being pushed out even faster than you might expect. Our Pooja Lodia shows us why some residents say they need to take back their community. It's a neighborhood as old as the city of Houston itself. This is where it's at. They do it all here in third ward. You know, we got famous Jack Yates over there. You know, this is where George Floyd come up at. I'm a native Houstonian, third ward, CUNY homes, yes. I've been here 64 years and I thank God for it every day. But I live here. I've been here. I'm going to die here. I'm old. It has changed and everybody know about the changes. They might get some of third ward, but they can't have all of it. The constant demolition started slowly, well over 20 years ago. Then suddenly, it sped up. They were going up on the taxes, which they was telling me my house was worth more than what it was worth. I said, well, if it's worth more than what it's worth, why don't you pay me? Buy it and give me that money, and I'll give me something else. Oh, no, Ms. Mouton, we can't do that. <laughs> Just last year, 79-year-old Clara Mouton had to leave behind the home where she raised her family, ending up about a mile over in what's called the Bottoms, historically the poorest part of Northern Third Ward. Home values are going up here too, though. You know, the house across the street from me at one time was $35,000, and now this is... I think two hundred fifty or three hundred thousand dollars in an area with little unused land. Nearly every time you see a new condo going up, an old home is being torn down. Three in four residents here are renters, and they're more likely to have trouble paying rent here than in nearly any other part of Harris County. If you look at the difference between the 2010 census and the 2020 census, third ward lost over 8,000 African-American residents, even though it grew 35% overall in population. Third Ward went from being over three quarters African-American to now less than 45% African-American. And so that creates a situation where the history and culture is at risk. History, we don't have no more history because they done took it all. They done took all our history. Nonprofits like Project Row Houses and the Shape Center work with residents and developers to encourage low and moderate income housing. It's so important that we maintain little programs that can benefit those who are just, just below the property level, but also in an ownership position. But community programs don't work as quickly as prices are rising. Getting out within the community and talking about the importance of buying our own property, you know, so that we can sustain and we can maintain a level of culture that you don't see anywhere else in the city of Houston. A past worth celebrating for a future yet to be decided. In Third Ward, Texas, Pucha Lodia, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.